Hey guys, Matheus Castelo here and today is Debian Day. Debian is turning today 29 years old. It's one of the most popular uh, Linux distributions ever, right? And I would like to use this special date to talk to you uh, about using Debian for embedded Linux with Horizon Core. Okay, so let's start uh, here. We need to start um, talking about Horizon, right? Because we need to uh, understand the problem that Horizon solves and uh, to understand where the Debian comes in in the Horizon um, core ecosystem, right? Um, Horizon is a Linux distribution itself, right? But Toradex claims that uh, Horizon is an easy to use industrial Linux software platform, right? So, Horizon delivers all the board support package, right? Um, with the bootloader, the kernel, the drivers, all the software that is specific to handle, uh, to handle a hardware, a specific hardware, is optimal for Toradex um, hardware, right? Also delivers a minimal root file system. In this minimal root file system comes the dependencies and uh, the services, um, the solutions for run a uh, over tier update, a secure over tier update, right? Toradex also have uh, over tier uh, update platform, right? To use with Horizon Core. And also in this um, root file system, we have all the dependencies to run a uh, runtime, a uh, uh, container runtime, like Docker, for example. So the idea behind uh, the Horizon Core is that you, you develop your application uh, with containers, right? You, you deploy your application in a container. So with this, Horizon is delivering the best of two worlds, right? Because today the industry standard is that, okay, I want to develop an embedded Linux device. So I need to develop my own Linux distribution, right? So I use the Yocto project to open embedded, um, select the packages, the dependencies, uh, the board support package, put all this together and generate, right? And build our Linux distribution from scratch, right? And is not an easy task to develop your own Linux distribution, right? So for this, Toradex uh, is developing and maintaining the Horizon Core, right? The Horizon Core is built uh, from a Yoto project, right? Without board support package specific for uh, your hardware, right? Optimal for Toradex hardware, right? How to bootload the kernel, uh, the drivers, and also the root file system, uh, the minimal root file system without dependencies for the secure over there update and the Docker runtime. So here that comes in um, to Debian, right? So with containers, you can run your preferable um, Linux distribution um, inside a container. So at the end, this solved the problem of the specific hardware with the Yocto build and also solved the problem uh, of the easy of use of um, Debian Linux distribution that the developer already know is already used to all the ecosystem and etc right and to make the development of your uh, containerized applications more easy the horizon core team also delivers uh, some docker images that is ready to be used as base for your application right so you don't need to uh, start from the zero you don't need to start from scratch right uh, you can see here, I will put here the link uh, for the developer website from Toradex uh, about the Debian containers, right? But what I want to highlight is that all the images um, are Debian based, right? Our Horizon uh, namespace images 
are based from the official Debian uh, repository from Docker Hub. Okay, so I have an example here of the use of the Torizon Debian uh, Docker images, right? I'm here with a um, Colibri IMX8 uh, Toradex model in an Aster Care board. I also have connected here a um, mini touch panel screen, right? That is showing my application. It's a .NET Uno platform graphical user application, right? And uh, for a graphical user application, we need a graphical composer, right? A um, desktop environment, right? So for, for this use, I'm using the Horizon slash Weston. That is um, a Docker image ready um, with the Weston Wayland desktop environment, right? So let me show to you the repository here. Oh, here is the example of my application. You can see that's only a grid and an image, right? The image is showing the Horizon logo, .png, as you can see on the screen. It's only this, my application, right? And you can see here, oops, yeah. You can see here uh, that the Docker file that I'm using, I'm also using an Horizon slash .NET Uno debug. This image comes without dependencies to run .NET, Uno platform, the graphical user uh, libraries to run, the GTK backend for Uno platform, and also out the dependencies to you can, uh, to be possible to run uh, the remote debug, right? You can uh, attach the VS code to the board, right? And make a um, remote uh, debug, right? This also is a Debian based uh, Docker image, the Horizon.net on the debug. But where is the Weston, right? Is here on my Docker Compose. I have here my application that is GTKZIN debug, right? I have the release one and also the Weston. You can see that my application depends on Weston, right? And you can see here that I am calling the Horizon Weston GPU. This is important because um, for Toradex hardware, we have some GPUs that has um, proprietary uh, libraries, right? So also uh, Toradex Horizon team has their own feeds, right? With the right versions of the libraries to run the graphical user uh, interfaces using the GPU. I can show to you guys on the board. I have here the board connected through SSH, right? I can show you guys that I'm running the Horizon uh, 5.7.0, right? And I have here my application running. You can see that is the application, uh, the Horizon GTK Zin and the Horizon Weston, right? So let's jump in in the Horizon Weston container. Okay, so in this container, what I want to show to you guys, let me first do an apt update. Okay, you can see here the feeds that hit the feeds from Toradex, right? And what I want to show is the apt info lib drm2. For this package, for this uh, package, we need to get uh, the proprietary library uh, from Vivanti uh, GPU because I'm running on Colibri IMAX 8 and this is an ARM 64 uh, bits processor with the Vivanti um, GPU. And you can see that my libdrm is a version from the Toradex feed, right? You can see here on the app source that this package comes from the Toradex feed, right? So also for this, uh, the Toradex team uh, handle for you, so you can now uh, you can just apt get install and you you get the uh, right versions uh, that will work in your specific hardware, right? And last but not least, I would like to highlight some reasons 
why you should choose Debian as base for your embedded Linux uh, containers, right? One of them is that Debian have a great ARM architecture support, right? He has ARM32 um, and ARM64 bit uh, support, right? With more than 57,000 packages, right? Uh, I can show to you guys here. Uh, for example, I can run the apt cache package names uh, and count it. So I'm running here for the ARM 64 bits, right? And you can see that I have more than 58,000 packages ready to be uh, installed and used, it, right? Another reason is the Debian one of the most popular Linux distributions for embedded Linux. And um, after the Octo open embedded, Debian is the most popular Linux distribution for embedded Linux. We can tell, um, for example, uh, from the Raspberry Pi, right? The Raspberry Pi Foundation delivers the Raspberry and and uh, the Raspberry Pi OS that are uh, Linux distributions based on Debian, right? Another one, Rouge community. This is very good uh, from Debian. Uh, there is a Rouge community behind the Debian project, right? Uh, many Debian developers, maintainers, experts, and collaborators all around the world, right? It's um, a very vibrant um, community um, with many collaborators and joining together uh, to make the Debian project um, possible. Another reason is secure and stable, right? Um, from the Debian website, you can see that at least they have um, five years support for each of their stable versions, right? We have three years for stable, more two years to long-term support, TLTS. And also, if you want, you can buy uh, the extended long-term support um, that is an enterprise fee. You, you pay for this third-party uh, enterprise to extend the long-term support to more uh, five years, right? So you, you have more or less 10 years of support uh, for our Debian uh, version. So guys, that's it. I really hope that you like this content, right? If you like, don't forget uh, to leave here your thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, no problem. You can uh, leave your dislike, no problem. Leave also your comment here, uh, what you think about Debian, right? Leave here your congrats uh, for uh, the Debian um, project community, right? Here my uh, social media uh, handles, right? You can follow me in all these uh, handles, right? In Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, here is my blog, microhobby.com.br. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like uh, this content, right? So congrats, Devin, congrats for out maintainers, developers, collaborators of um, the Debian project is an uh, awesome open source free software uh, Linux distribution that um, many and many uh, enterprises, uh, big techs, and also users use day uh, to day and, and make possible many applications, many technologies uh, to be running today, right? So it's Debian Day, long live to Debian.